Today we took uh, three samples from Tuscornia Beach and we're going to test the samples then for E. coli when we get home and tomorrow we'll have the results and the, we'll see if, uh, what the level of E. coli is. They're not supposed to be more than 400 E. coli in 100 mil when it's recreational water and we'll see what the level is and sometimes we get 20 or 30 E. coli per mil which is way above what the standard is and so that's what we'll do we'll incubate these uh, inoculate these tests incubate them and then tomorrow we can send you what the results are yeah Alan Wade has done a lot of this testing for the Save the American River Association and what he's found is what the state has found is that quite often there are uh, that the E. coli standards in the water far exceed what the what the guidelines are and uh, that's where the Save the American River Association is concerned that there are not signs posted here about being careful to recreate in the water because you have high E. coli levels which re, uh, indicates then a high level of fecal contamination in the water.